A lot of editors love Final Cut Pro for things like the magnetic timeline. But wouldn't it be great if it came with more options for working with the latest and greatest video formats? That's what we thought when developing Color Finale Transcoder 2. Shoot B-RAW, N-RAW and other RAW video formats while continuing to edit in a familiar interface. And, as you'll find out, in some crucial cases, you won't even need to transcode. Let's see it in action. Transcoder 2 is a macOS app that, once installed, lives in the Applications folder. You can open it from here to use standalone, but inside Final Cut Pro you'll see that it also shows up as a workflow extension. Whichever way you open it, you'll have the same window and user interface. Ok, let's say you've filmed some NRAW footage. You've already mounted the card on your Mac, so what you need to do is to navigate to the folder containing the raw footage, here on the left, and then the relevant files pop up in the media browser under the viewer. Great. So you've found the clips you want to use. Maybe you only need a portion of the clip. You can trim using the I and O keys, or by dragging the in and out points. Looks like it might need some slight exposure and color temperature adjustments. On the right, you've got your raw parameter controls and scopes to help you evaluate any changes you make. The full metadata of the clip is in this other tab. Adjustments made in this panel define the final look of the transcoded clip. There's also some controls at the top of the viewer that let you put a lot over a clip and de-squeeze anamorphic footage. But note, these are the viewer settings and they're not saved with the exported video. Alright, so you've got your clips. Over here at the bottom, select which FCP library you want to put them into. This will import and store them there. For flexibility, you can also select Q for transcoding to. To save to any location, such as an external drive. Then, to import into Final Cut Pro, just drag and drop from the job queue into the timeline. Neat. See this Use Original Media option? Turn it on and you don't even need to transcode NRAW and B-RAW clips. Transcoder 2 comes with two plugins for the respective formats that are added automatically during import. They include controls over several parameters like color temperature and exposure. When this Original Media option is turned on, it's the original raw files that are being used, so they have to be available at all times when you're editing. That means if you have the files stored on an external drive, make sure to keep it mounted. Once in Final Cut Pro, you can see your imported clips in the library or on the timeline, depending on how you added them. Check out the metadata, it's all here. And that's it. The next step is to edit and color grade. If you don't use Final Cut Pro, or just want to quickly get a big raw file into a state you can share or use in other editors, Q for transcoding to is what you want. Cal Finale Transcoder 2 can also combine raw stills sequences into a video. For example, you can shoot a time lapse or a stop motion sequence and then save it as a .mov file. Simply browse to the folder where the images are located and if they are in a sequence, they will automatically show up under one file name, like any other raw video file. You can then select the frame rate, adjust raw parameters such as exposure, white balance and contrast, and even start and end points as before. Finally, export using Key for Transcoding 2. Here are some examples of common file name patterns that will be picked up by Transcoder 2 and collapsed into one file in the browser. Now you know more about how easy it is to work with NRAW, B-RAW and other RAW video formats in Final Cut Pro using Color Finale Transcoder 2. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.